Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for your movement class. All you're going to need today is a comfortable chair and a pillow for support. You may also want a yoga mat or a towel um, for some exercises down on the floor. Let's go ahead and get started with 15 minutes of full body warm-ups, and then we're going to go into a whole bunch of body weight exercises. We're going to be working the full body today. Let's get started with the hands at the waist. We're gonna go up on the toes, back on the heels, up on the toes, back on the heels, warming up the shins, the calves, and the ankles. Lift the heels straight up and down. One more. Now bring those feet apart, arms wide, hips forward and keep them forward. As you rotate, pause at center and then switch. Exhale to the side. Inhale to center. Final set. And relax. So let's work on our squats. Arms out, feet hip width apart with the toes out. Let me go ahead and pin that for ya. All right, we're gonna go into squats, feet hip width apart, toes out. We're gonna squat back and down and back and forward. Knees remain over the back of the foot. Toes are up to the ceiling. Give me one more. Now with this next one, we're gonna squat and kick across the body, down through the heels and up. Shoulders are back, bending forward slightly at the waist keeping the shoulders and the hips aligned. One more. And relax. Now bring your hands to your waist or behind the back, elbows back. We're gonna rock and kick, lifting the heels high in the back as you push the hips forward in the front. Give me three, two, final set and relax. Let's work on our balance. We're gonna go laterally, kick with the opposite foot, cross those feet, and now try to touch your toes. Come up through the heels, other side. Going down through those heels, up through those heels as you push those hips behind you. One more each direction. and untwist yourself. Now let's work on our balance some more. Open up those hips. Body weight's in the left foot. Right foot's gonna move. We're bringing it forward and down. Corner and down. Bringing it wide. Back corner. And now let's bring it straight back. And repeat. Corner again. Out wide. Front corner. And then join me in front. Body weight shifts to that foot, other foot's moving, bringing it forward, and then slowly working our way back around. And take it to the back and repeat. Front corner, and now join me in front. All right, time for a mind-body coordination exercise. Feet come hip width apart, toes out at a slight angle. We're reaching up with both arms, bringing them forward and down. Hips back and down into a squat, knees over the heels. Reach with one arm, other arm join, and then we're gonna stand tall as we come out of that squat. Again, forward down, hips back and down. Reach, extend, and rise. Shin and calf perpendicular to the ground. You should feel this in the glutes, not so much in your quads. Give me two more. Last one. And relax. Now we're gonna get our heart rate up there this afternoon with some jumping jacks or modified jacks, which I'll be demonstrating. 30 seconds. Ready and go. We're bringing those fingertips over the head with those 
those modified jacks, you're really leaning into the knee. With both jacks, you're coming up off the floor onto those toes, getting air between your feet and the ground. You're halfway. Give me 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Roll those shoulders to the back. Biggest movements you can make and reverse your movement. And relax. Now let's get those shoulders warmed up. Feet come apart, arms out parallel to the ground. We're gonna make small circles from the shoulders, not the wrists, for about 30 seconds. You'll see these coming back later. Small purposeful movements here, warming up those shoulders, toning the underarms. Now let's make our movement a little faster. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now. Bring those arms back wide, and we're going to reverse. Same small movements here. Shoulders back, squeezing them together. Chest forward in the front. Tightening your bottom in the back and your core in the front. Speed it up. Hang with me. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and bring those hands to your side. It's time for some shoulder shrugs. You're drawing those shoulders high and pushing the palms low. Give me four, three, two, and one. Now let's bring those arms wide. Over-unders are next. One hand is on top and then the other. Now focus on bringing those hands behind you as far as you can. No arching of the back, no moving of the hips. Give me four, three, two, and one. Hands come down. Now let's bring those hands forward, palms together. We're gonna open and close. Squeeze and clap. Exhale and inhale. Give me three, two, one, and relax. Let's go into some shoulder rotation. Now we're gonna do windmills and switch and both. We're coming center, up and out. Final set. All right, stand tall. Bring those hands to the waist. We're gonna warm up our neck, looking laterally, pausing at center and switching. Hips don't move as we move laterally at the neck. One more. And now take that to the ceiling and the floor. Gently high and gently down low. One more. And now slowly and gently roll out your neck in a full circle or a half circle. And reverse that. Now movement is super important today as well as hydrating. So grab some water, even if you're not thirsty right now, grab something to drink and then join me at your mat. We're gonna go on our hands and our knees, going into a plank for 30 seconds. Your palms or your elbows are stacked under the shoulders. Knees and feet are hip width apart. You're either gonna bring the knees back and push the hips forward like me, or you're gonna extend the legs and go on the toes. And we're gonna lift in three, two, and one. 30 seconds here. My knees are coming back, feet are up, and then I'm slowly pushing the hips forward and down until the hips are between the shoulders and the knees. If you're on the toes, the hips are between the shoulders and the heels. You're pushing down with your palms or your elbows, up with the shoulders, squeezing those shoulders together, and drawing your chin to the chest. Should be looking down. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower to your mat. Point the toes, plant the hands, and slowly extend the arms and stretch out that back. If your back is tight, join me on the elbows. 
four, three, two, and one. Exhale as you push up and back. We're going into child's pose now. Bottom to your feet, knees drawn wide. Slowly extend those arms and then finally drop the forehead. Four, three, two, and one. Exhale, join me back in tabletop. We're gonna go into the bird dog exercise. Next, full extension with opposite limbs. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Those limbs are parallel to the ground and they're in line with your back. Push your heel straight back and draw your chin to your chest. Give me one more set. And relax. Now, join me on your back. We're gonna go into glute bridges and that will conclude our warm up. Legs are bent, feet are placed underneath the knees. Fingertips are pointing at your feet, but you shouldn't be able to quite reach them. Now drive the heels and the shoulders down as you push the hips away and up into a nice high bridge. And then those hips come away and down. We're inhaling up and exhaling down. Hips are high, rear is tight. No movement at the knees. They should move forward or laterally. Don't apply any pressure through your palms. Give me three more and then you're holding your best bridge at the top. And let's hold that here. Hips right between the knees and the shoulders making your back and your torso both straight. Hold for five, four, three, two, one, release, and lower yourself to the mat. Now, take your time coming to your feet and we'll get started with all the fun stuff. We're gonna start with um, some body weight exercises in the standing position. You're also going to need a comfy chair and a pillow today. Now, I said those arm circles are coming back. That's what we're starting out with. We're gonna bring the feet apart, arms wide, small circles towards the front of your room for 30 seconds. Just like with the warm up, you wanna have good posture and the chin up. The trick here is after 30 seconds, you're not gonna be able to rest and bring those hands down. You're gonna hold those arms laterally for an additional 30 seconds. If you're unable to complete the full 30 seconds today, no problem. Simply bring those hands down to your side and join me again when you're ready. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it here. Hands are out, arms parallel to the floor. Your shoulders are back, squeezing them together back there. That's gonna bring your chest forward and really improve your posture. You're tightening your belly button into the spine tightening your rear, squeezing your bottom together in the back. You're driving those heels to the floor. Give me 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna do something similar with the lower body, working the glutes and the hamstrings. We're gonna go into some squatting and pulsing for 30 seconds. And then we're gonna hold a squat for an additional 30 seconds. Knees are over the heels as you push your hips back and down and pulse, pulse. Come back up to the standing position, back down, pulse, pulse. Making sure your back doesn't arch. You're keeping that back straight. Shoulders in line with the hips. Trying to get those hip bones almost behind those knees. Your body weight's in the heels with the toes up. And give me one more and then we're gonna hold that squat. All right, let's hold here. Knees over the heels, chin and calf perpendicular to the ground. Chin and eyes up, curl those toes up. Should feel this in your posterior chain in the back, not so much in the quad. If you're feeling knee pain now, you need to shift back and down. Almost done, give me 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, drive those heels down, stand tall. 
Now, let's give that lower body a break. We're gonna work on our shoulders, triceps, with some alternating overhead shoulder blade touches. We're gonna go into a split stance to take pressure off our back. We're gonna bring our arms out in front with the palms up. Now, elbows stay forward as you touch those shoulders. Go into extension. Now bring the hands up, elbows stay up as you go into flexion, extension, return to your starting position. Again, bend, extend, and lift, bend, extend, and lower. This is also a mind-body coordination exercise, so it should make you think a little bit. Those elbows stay forward, and then they stay high keeping them close to your body line, not coming wide. Now, if you have shoulder limitations, you also can join me right here and omit the overhead range of motion portion. Give me one more. And relax. Now, for the next exercise we're gonna do, we're not moving at all. We're gonna do some full body tightening. We're gonna have our feet hip width apart, arms out in front, and then we're gonna make a fist. Make the strongest fist you can. Now draw those shoulders back. Chest forward for good posture. Tighten up your core, pulling the belly button to the spine. Tighten up your bottom. Drive your heels down. Let's elongate ourselves. Hold that head high. Pretend you're a puppet with a string holding you up and elongating the neck. Now squeeze those fists even harder. Drive those heels even harder to the floor. Give me 10. Breathe. Eight. Breathe. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Nicely done. Now, find an open space against your wall. We're gonna go into a wall sit for 30 seconds. If you don't have an open space against the wall, you can also close up a door. Your back is against the wall with your feet hip width apart, and you're gonna march the feet away from the wall and lower your bottom. Don't stop until those hip bones are behind the knees, making the thighs parallel to the floor. Those thighs should be in an equal sign. Hands at the wall, not in your lap, I'm gonna do alternating heel lifts here, working the shins, calves, and ankles while we work the quads and the glutes. Lift those heels as high as you can. Belly button to the spine, eliminating space. Give me 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push those heels down and return to the standing position. Now, we're gonna pull out our chair and we're gonna pull out our pillow. If you have armrests on your chair, you might not need the pillow. So we're gonna go into some supine wrist curls, working on strengthening our wrists a bit to make sure make those wrists a little stronger. Now, if you have armrests, you can rest the hands and the ar arms and the armrests with the palms up, knuckles down. Otherwise, join me on top of your pillow. We want to allow your wrists to drop, allow those hands to drop with gravity. Now make a purposeful fist, and we're going to curl up towards your wrist. Curl towards the wrist. This is a great way to get started with this exercise. Try to master 30 seconds here. Once you get comfortable with it and a little stronger, you can grab a set of one to three pound dumbbells. We want to keep the back of the arm and the elbow either on your armrest or your pillow. Give me five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now we're gonna do prone wrist curls. We're reversing that palms are down. Again, allowing those hands to drop. This one may feel a little awkward. We're gonna come forward and up and scoop, forward and down, release. Forward and up and scoop. Forward and down, release. Again, forearm and elbow, stay on the armrest or your pillow. Give me 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, that's all we needed the pillow for, so you can put that aside. 
but we're going to stay in our chair. We're going to go into a seated leg extension, working the quads to support the knees. Scoot in the very back of your chair so that your thighs have as much contact with the chair as possible. Shoulders over the hips, knees over the heels, hands in your lap. We're going to do seated leg extension with just the right leg, repeating on that side. So you're going to take that flex foot and lift it in front of the knee and then go back into flexion. Repeat, keeping the thigh in contact with the chair. Don't let the knee and the thigh lift. This is also going to engage the core. If you feel any back pain, you're probably leaning forward a bit and not engaging that core enough. So focus on leaning back behind you without relying on your backrest. Give me six. And five, apply pressure to the lap. Four and three. Two and one, relax. Let's take that to the other side. Again, full extension and then flexion. Knee stays in front of your hip bone. Thigh stays on the chair. Exhale out. Inhale in, give me five, four, three, two, and one, relax. Now, we're gonna stand up and use our chair for support. You can place it off to one side, and you're gonna stack the shoulder over the hip, over the heel. We're going to standing leg abduction. We're going to basically do a lateral leg lift here with the opposite leg. That foot is flexed. You're lifting as high as you can. Give me five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Now, let's take that to the other side. Shoulder over the hip over the heel. Again, we're lifting as high as you can. Good job. Okay, you can leave it, okay? Oh, you can use another one, okay? Okay, we have an emergency here on a snow day, apparently. <laughs> you can use another room, okay? <laughs> Give me five. Four, <laughs> three, two, and one, relax. All right, can you give me five more minutes? Okay, all right, now we're gonna go on our mat. We're gonna go into rocking, baby. We're gonna go on our back on the mat. We're gonna bring our knees to our chest, hands wrapped around your shins, and we're gonna rock side to side using the core. Try not to use those shoulders. This one usually feels pretty good. If you wanna work the lower abs a little more, you can draw the chin to the chest and lift the shoulders as you rock side to side. Inhale laterally, exhale at center. Good, give me 10. Bring those knees in tight. Eight and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Now let's stay on our back. We're gonna go into glute bridges with a leg abduction, basically dropping those knees laterally. Let's bring the fingertips towards the ceiling so we're not using the palms. Heels are placed under the knees. Push the hips away and up, nice and high. And now keep the hips high as you drop the knees laterally. Come back to center and then release and lower to the mat. Again, inhale up, drop, lift, and exhale down. Try to keep those hips in line with the knees and the shoulders until those knees come back over the heels. Make sure you're using your glutes to lift and hold you. 
not your lower back. Give me four more. And three more. Last two. Last set. And release and lower yourself to the mat. Now, we're going to finish up on our hands and knees in another plank. We're going to go on the hands and knees, palms underneath the shoulders, knees hip width apart. We're going to go on our toes. I want you to really challenge yourself. We're going to do it for 15 seconds, and then we're going to build on this with a nice stretch in the posterior chain. Your hips are aligned between the shoulders and the heels. Your torso and your back are straight. Make sure that back doesn't round by bringing the chest forward. We're going to stay up here in three, two, one. Now softly bend the knees as you slowly walk your fingertips back towards your feet. And you're going to drop those heels. Again, you can bend those legs and then grab the ankles and push the knees back as you straighten up those legs. Feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes. Now, slowly release your hands and bring opposite hand to opposite elbow. You're staying in that flat back position without rounding the shoulders as you rock side to side here. Your body weight's in your heels. Give me five, four, three, two, one. And push through those heels. And slowly stand tall, reaching those fingertips as high as you can. And exhale and bring those hands down to your side. Now we're going to do a nice stretching session here. Turn to the front, bring your feet wide, hands come together in front. We're going to push our hips forward as we reach forward, palms facing you, not me. And now if you're able and have no overhead limitations, Bring those arms over the head, palms facing the floor. Now we're gonna go into a deep lateral bend here. Please don't push into any pain at home. Body weight's in your heels. Drive those heels down and return to the standing position. Now join me on the other side. Body weight's in the heels. Go nice and deep here without pushing into pain. Now core stacks the shoulders back over the hips. Now let's stretch out those hands. Turn the wrist and gently push forward, palms facing forward now. And if you don't have limitations, you're gonna bring the arms over the head and then we're gonna all bring the feet together and push those heels down and tilt the chin up for four, three, two, one. Exhale and release. Now, you're going to either push your palms behind you or your hands are going to join together behind the back. And we're going to come forward into flat back as your hips come back. And then we're going to drop ourselves even lower with that flat back and lift the hands higher. Three, two, one, and exhale and rise. Now, we're going to stretch out our shoulders. Bring one arm across the chest. Other hand comes underneath and supports just above the elbow. And release and switch. Make sure you're not pulling on the elbow or the shoulder. Now we're gonna stretch out that neck and finish things out. Swing one arm over your head if you can reach the opposite ear. Then we're gonna drop the other ear to the shoulder and the opposite shoulder to the ground. This one should feel pretty good. And release, let's switch sides. Gently drop the ear, gently drop the shoulder, and hold for three, two, one, and relax. Thanks for sharing some time with me, whether you're joining me live or later online. I appreciate you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week for something new. Bye-bye.